Hello everybody, and today we want to take a look at another way of using conditional statements. Specifically, what happens if we need to check in a sequence of values? For example, I want to figure out what the letter grade is for a given numeric grade. So let's take a quick look at how we're going to do something like this. I've already got some stuff started. I said define grade equals 86. This just lets us kind of have a grade to work with. Of course, I could get an input for this, but that's not necessary for this example. All right, so I'm going to come in here, just kind of move down line. Remember, I like to kind of organize and group my stuff. And I'm going to start off with something simple. I'll just say if grade greater than or equal to 90, then, and then I can define my letter grade. So I'll say letter grade equals A. Now I might go, oh, I, I didn't define that up there. And so I can come up here real quick and just say define letter grade. And I can already give it an A or something else that I need to. It doesn't matter. And I'll just kind of give it a blank grade by default. Now, if it's less than 90, then I'm going to say, well, I need to do another if statement. And I could say if grade is greater than or equal to 80, then letter grade equals B. Now, I could do that. I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to show you why real quick. And that's very simply, well, if I had a grade of, let's say, 92. 92 is greater than 90, so letter grade becomes an A. And then I'd say, okay, well, I've got another if statement. If grade is greater than 80, well, 92 is greater than 80. And so letter grade is going to equal B. But wait a second, that's not what I want to have happen. So I'm going to fix this real easily. On line six here, before I say if grade is greater than or equal to 80, I'm going to say else. And this else if lets me say this is only going to be tested if my first condition was not true. So was later grade greater than 90? If it's 92, then the answer is yes. And I go ahead and I ignore everything else that's after it until I'm done with all my else if statements. On the other hand, 86, is an 86 greater than 90? No. So we go to the else. Well, is 86 greater than or equal to 80? Yes, it is. And then once again, I'm not going to check any other else statements. So this is one of those things where if I'm working with a sequence, it's real important, real easy for me to use. Those else if statements automatically make my logic really easy to work with. And believe it or not, when we convert this into code, whether it's something like Python or C++, it's actually a little bit faster for us. So this is why the else if is so powerful and why we need to know how to use it. Now, if I continue this on real quick, you're just going to see it's going to look very similar. In fact, I can come up here and just do a little copy paste. And then anything below a D is an F. And so I'm just going to say else because this is anything else, right? Okay, I can only go down from here. That's how I'm checking. And so letter grade then equals F. And that else is kind of like just a, a catch-all. It catches everything else that we might have missed in there. Obviously, if I had a, a 2,000, well, it would have been caught by the greater than or equal to 90. And if I had negative 6, it's caught by the else. So else is a good thing to put in there. It's kind of like a little catch-all, but it's not required. This is just a nice, simple way of laying out my logic so I can see how do I define it. Now that I have that, I can come in here and just do maybe something like a print. Your grade is a and then plus letter grade. That way it says, oh, it updates it with whatever the letter grade was that they were earned. So that's how we can use a sequence of if statements using else if to help simplify our logic and make sure we don't run into any logical errors. I hope you found that example helpful for you. If so, you might want to check out our next video. We're going to move off of conditional statements and into repeating or looping statements, specifically our conditional loop, which looks a lot like an if statement, but has a couple of neat little tweaks 
that you're going to learn about there. So I hope to see you there soon.